Let's go guys, we are back again, Raul TV Mechanics, we are back, back in the garage, we've had some time off, but we're back again, alright? So what we're doing this time round is I've got a Citroen C1 on a 2015 Citroen C1 that is, lovely little car, little Pippin, I love these cars, little small car, Citroen C1, Toyota Igos, the uh, Peugeot 107, my favourite cars, okay, the 108 actually now, I love them, right? So we're going to go ahead and replace the front brake pads and brake rotors, dead easy job uh, we've done them in the past i mean you can do it outside the house basic tools jack it up make sure it's nice and safe let's go let's do it okay the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take the brake fluid cap off if i can take you off there we go then we'll send the car up on the ramp take the wheel off we'll go from there okay after that what we're going to do is we're going to take the wheel off i mean i've already started taking the wheel off i'm not going to show you how to take the wheel off uh just basically whiz them four off and it should come straight off 17 mil let's go right okay the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to get a 12 mil spanner could be a 13 but for some reason it's a 12 mil on mine we're going to go ahead anti-clockwise counterclockwise take that bolt off and we'll go from there Right, okay, after we've taken the pads off and everything, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to get a 17mm socket. If you're strong enough, get a spanner, do it with a spanner. I've got a breaker bar on there, a strong arm on there, 17mm. We're going to go ahead and take this off. And I'll be straight points with you, I'm not staging anything. This is tight as anything. There we go, that one's off. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off as well. This one and this one, the bracket should come off. And then we'll go from there. Okay, as you can see there, these two are absolutely slack. They're coming off this one and the top one here. Just to demonstrate for you guys. That one. So the caliper bracket bolts, they are absolutely loose. But we're going to leave them there for two minutes. Okay, what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and take this one off. As you can see there, I've given it a hit with the chisel. Uh, so it is loose now. I'm going to get a screwdriver on there and take that off. If it didn't come off that way, uh, then obviously you'd get something in between the uh, bracket and then obviously that will give you some leverage, it will stop the disc from turning and then you could, you know, try hitting it and take it off. Uh, so if it does come off, Torx 30, take that off. If not, you'll have to get a hammer and a chisel on it like I did and just uh, chisel it off. Yeah, let's go, let's do it. Right, okay, after we took that off, as you can see there, the disc is absolutely freestyling. All we need to do now is just take these two bolts off. This one. And, take the, and this one. And hopefully the bracket should come off, the hanging bracket should come off. And then we can take the disc off, the rotor off. No problem. Right, the bracket is totally off what we do now is the disc should just fly straight off happy days right the next thing what we'll do is since nothing's in the way now we'll just get some big dogs as you've seen in my other videos brake pad replacement video or brake disc uh, replacement video just uh, we need to just push that piston back in all the way the caliper piston push that back in all the way and then yeah refit everything in, re in reverse order let's go so we've got the disc there no need to clean it up or anything because they've got like a powder coating over it so it should be all right the ones without the powder coating the ones with some oil on it make sure you clean it up with the brake cleaner all right let's get this back on and uh, yeah let's finish the job off I don't 
Well, that is it guys all done and dusted the front brake pads and this I've done it on both sides obviously I've only shown you on one side but I've done both sides don't worry about that yeah the Citroen C1 same exactly same as the Peugeot 108 107 the Toyota Igo they're all pretty much the same uh, yeah that's how you place the front brake pads brake discs or rotors if you want to call them just a little top tip is make sure you pump the brakes up before you take it on a test drive or before you go for a drive and uh, put the brake fluid cap back on and that's it you're good to go anyway i hope this video helps you guys out if it didn't help you guys out i'm sorry trying my best please like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section raul tv team r4ul we're back again <laughs> we'll see you guys next time <laughs>